Right now, that major operation continues. FBI and police remain here on the scene 24 hours after this all began. Take a live look here. Down at the end of the street there, you can see a huge presence of Michigan State Police blocking off the road. They are still gathering evidence at the house in question. Only Action News was there as a massive law enforcement operation unfolded on Saturday night into Sunday morning. Helicopters, heavy equipment, and a small army of agents raid a home in a rural area near Adrian. The activity continued throughout the day on Sunday. Witnesses and neighbors in the area tell us of multiple arrests, and as it turns out, this was just one of several raids conducted by the FBI this weekend. We're hearing that in the last 24 hours there have been three uh, quote-unquote militia-associated rates, two in Michigan, one in Sandusky, Ohio. Michael Lacamar is one of the leaders of the Michigan militia. His group was not raided by the FBI last night. He says a little-known religious extremist group was the target. What they are, they're, they're primarily a religious-oriented group, That, whereas most of your citizens' militias, like us, are based... Uh, upon the, the uh, premise that in the event of an emergency, we would step up and protect and assist the community. They're more of a survivalist mentality where they're just going to, you know, drop back into their compound and uh, wait it out. The FBI is not telling us who or what was the subject of their raid last night, but if Lacamar is correct, the group in question appears to be a religious militia organization. Their website includes training videos featuring men in camouflage carrying rifles and maneuvering through rough terrain. The site also includes something of a manifesto, declaring members need to be ready for the Antichrist and that Jesus wants members to be ready to defend themselves with the sword. If they were involved in what went down last night, I, I would believe that it would have to be for issues such as uh, um, unlawful weaponry or, uh, you know, uh, maybe something that they posted somewhere that they shouldn't have. All of those are good questions, and right now the FBI is not confirming what they are looking for, what they have seized, and who has been arrested. We are being told by neighbors on an interesting note that there is a pyrotechnics plant or factory nearby here, about a mile away. Again, the FBI saying they will release more information on what's going on here in Dover Township sometime early this week, hopefully by tomorrow. Reporting live in Dover.